जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय नित्यानंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृता आदि लीला फर्स्ट चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर सिक्स श्री राधाया प्रणय महिमा की दृशो वान स्वाद्यो ये नाद्भुत मधुरी मा की दृशो वाम दीय सौख्यम चास्य मदनुभवत की दृशम व्यति लोभा तद्भाढ़ समजनी शचि गर्भ सिंधो हरिंदु ट्रांसलेशन बाई डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शिला प्रभु पात की जाए डिजायरिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द ग्लोरी ऑफ राधा रानी स्लव the wonderful qualities in him that she alone relishes through her love and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love the supreme lord hari richly endowed with her emotions appeared from the womb of shrimati shachi devi as the moon appeared from the ocean hence the bhakti vans translation the following is a class on the chaitanya charitamrita adya lila volume 1 chapter 1 text number 6 given by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupad recorded on march 30th 1975 in mayapur india vaishna mang shri radhaya pranaya mahima kidrisho अनव आश्याद जीनाभुत मधुरीमा कीदृश बा मदीय सोखंच अश मद अनुभवत कीदृशं बेति लोभा तद्भाढ़ समझनी सचिगर्भ सिंधु हरिंदु so the love affairs between krishna and radha that we have already uh, understood that radha krishna combined together is sri chaitanya maha तदयांग चैकमाप्तम तदयांग दयांग मीन्स टू राधा एंड कृष्णा दे आर वन देर इज नो डिफरेंस एनर्जी एंड द एनर्जेटिक सो राधा रानी इज द एनर्जी plays an energy of krishna so when krishna you have explained this when krishna wants plays that he cannot derive it from anything material uh, we should not misunderstand that krishna is ordinary human being and he is enjoying like us uh, completely different radha rani is the manifestation of krishna's pleasure potency parasya shakti vividhi vasyate uh, so when krishna par brahma krishna is described by arjun par brahma so when the parabrahma wants to enjoy uh, the mahabadi philosopher they cannot conceive that parabrahma also enjoys 
Therefore, they think of Parabrahma as impersonal. But that is not the fact. Brahma, Paramatma, then Bhagavan. Therefore, Bhagavan is Parabrahma. That is accepted by Ojjwam. Parabrahma, Paramdhama, Pavitram, Paramam, Bhavan. The Brahma is spiritual, undoubtedly. Uh, but more than Brahma is Paramatma. And more than Paramatma is Parabrahma Krishna. Jadaddaita Brahma Upanishadi. If you study the Upanishads, then you can realize Brahma. And if you practice yoga, then you can realize Paramatma. And if you practice bhakti yoga, then you can realize the Supreme Personality of God. This is the process. The more you advance, just like the sun sign, sun sign and the sun glow, or the sun god, they are of the same quality, heat and light. But the sun sign is not the sun glow. Neither the sun glow is the sun god. It is therefore Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, achinta bhida bhed, inconceivable, one and different simultaneous. So, when you go to the platform of understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, manusyanam sahasreku kasti jatati siddhaya jatatam api siddhyanam kasti vetimam tattat. You have to understand Krishna tattat in truth, not superficially, then you will misunderstand. Without understanding Krishna, if we try to understand Krishna's pastimes with Radharani, that is foolishness. Because you do not know Krishna, how can you understand his pastimes with the gopis? That is foolishness. Therefore, we have to understand Krishna first of all. And Krishna Himself explaining Himself. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna does not speak anything about His pastimes with Radharan. That is strictly private. You never find Krishna is speaking about His pastimes with the gopis or with Radharan. No. He is officially speaking about himself. I am this, I am that. Matta paradhanam nanya kinchi jasti dhananya. Mami vaja prapadhanti maya me dhanam. First of all, try to understand Krishna. Thoroughly study Bhagavad Gita. And after studying Bhagavad Gita, if you are fortunate enough to understand what is Krishna, then Krishna says, surrender. That is the beginning of understanding Krishna. Don't try to understand the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis. Just like if you make a friend, Ordinarily, if you become intimate friend, then you can understand about his household affairs. If you are newly gentleman introduced to the 
another gentleman, you cannot ask him what is the affair in your household or with your wife or with your beloved. That you cannot ask. Neither it is possible to understand. Uh, so uh, the foolishness is going on that without understanding Krishna, there are so-called rascal, foolish poets. They are describing Krishna's pastimes with Radha. Uh, that is the cause of fall down of the so-called Vaishnavism. Without understanding Krishna, they want to understand the pastimes. You will find in your country also, I have seen one book uh, written by one uh, Bhattacharya about the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the covering faith is Radha and his picture naked. So these rascals have uh, made so much havoc, and this book is published by the United Nations. Uh, I have seen one book in France. Uh, I think some of you might have seen. Bhagavan, you have seen them? Uh, eh? mm. so anyway, this kind of literature, uh, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to read uh, Gita Govinda, uh, Chandidas, amongst with his confidential devotee. Uh, the Gita Govinda, the loving affairs of Radha and Krishna, it is not for the neophyte student. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you will find Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings. Generally, he was talking with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya. He was talking with Prakashananda Saraswati. Uh, he was talking uh, with Ramananda Raya. But the subject matter was not the same. Uh, when he was talking officially with the Prakashananda Saraswati Sarva Bhattacharya, there is no talk about Krishna's pastime with uh, Simply on the basis of Vedanta he was talking. Uh, but when he was talking with Ramananda Rai, he talked about Krishna's first times with Radha. So we should be very careful uh, that from the very beginning, uh, just like the professional Bhagavad readers, the Bhagavad reading means uh, describing Ras Leela. Whenever you find there is Bhagavad reading, they are describing. I have seen one big Goswami, he was professional Bhagavad reader. And whenever you speak very nicely on Ras Leela, and after describing Ras Leela Bhagavad reading, he would come for recreation and smoke cigarette. I have seen it. So this kind of Bhagavad reading will not help you. Bhakti parasala bhava virakti annatrasya. If you are actually advancing in devotional service, then the symptom will be that you will have no more material hankering. That is real. So, if you actually hear about Krishna's pastimes with Radharani, then Ridroga Kamam Apohinati, then our heart disease 
lusty desires will vanish. That is the result. I have repeatedly said. Uh, so if you become more lusty by seeing the pastimes of Krishna in the Radharani or hearing, that means you are not fit. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, don't be foolish. Uh, so in the spiritual platform, the, everything are there, but they are different in quality. Uh, just like uh, uh, iron is also metal and gold is also metal, but the quality is different. Uh, similarly, don't take that Krishna's loving affairs with Adharani <coughs> is exactly like our loving affair with our girlfriend. No, it is not like. One is gold and one is iron. Don't uh, <coughs> minimize the value. That, therefore, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has discussed that it is Alladini Shakti. Uh, Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikiti Allahadini Shakti. Uh, so, this Allahadini Shakti is being described in Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Therefore, Chaitanya Charita Amrita is the postgraduate study of uh, highly elevated devotees. Ordinary devotees, they cannot understand. Uh, I have seen one professional reader, he was uh, reading Chaitanya Charitamrita, but he did not believe in it. Because he cannot understand. He cannot understand. He plainly said, these are only imaginary descriptions. There is no fact in it. I have seen it. So, how one can understand this is fact unless one uh, has understood what is spirit. Uh, just like in your country, big, big professors, they do not believe in the spirit. They simply think of this body. Uh, so how they can understand about Radha and Krishna and their pastimes or spiritual affairs? Uh, so first of all, we must understand what is Spirit and what is Krishna and what is Radharani. Then we try to understand uh, uh, what is Krishna and Radharani's loving affairs. Uh, so, uh, here it is said that uh, Krishna is feeling how Radharani is so much attracted, <coughs> so much attracted. Uh, that is feeling. Now, Krishna is omniscient. He knows everything. Why we should, he should feel like that? Uh, the, the feel that he knows, but for our understanding, he is uh, displaying, he is manifesting himself. Uh, the Radha, Radharani's loving affair is so great and unlimited. Even though I am omniscient, I cannot understand it. Uh, just like Lord Ramchandra. Lord Ramchandra, uh, he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, why he felt so much separation that to rescue Sita Devi, he fought with Ravan. Uh, he is self-sufficient. Why he should feel separation from Sita Devi? This question may be raised. Uh, so actually, there are uh, different phases of loving affairs. And the separation is also one of them. The separation, feeling of separation, 
is one of them. We have got experience in our present life that uh, intense love is still there is feeling of separation. All these things are there in the spiritual world. Uh, only pervati reflection of those spiritual feelings are manifested here in this material world. Therefore, it is called parvati reflection. But the, everything is there. Hmm. But they are not material. We should always understand that. Uh, Krishna is perfect, Radharani is perfect, and they are always constantly uh, company. Then why there is separation? And it's still there is separation. So these are very high grade understanding. So uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means Krishna feeling separation, uh, or Radha Rani feeling, Radha Bhavadhiti Subalitam. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taken the position of Simati Radha Rani, how to feel separation from Krishna. This is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, it is said, uh, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahe Anno. Uh, if you simply worship Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then you will be able to worship both Radha and Krishna. Uh, this is the uh, meaning of this verse. So, uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita author Krishna Das Kabirar Goswami uh, is uh, describing the cause of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance. Uh, the cause is that Krishna wanted uh, to know uh, what is there in Radharani. Uh, he is Madan Mohan. Krishna is another name. He is, he is attract. Krishna is attract to everyone. Even he is attractive to Cupid, Madan. Madan is attractive in the material world. And he is Madan Mohan. And Radharani is Madan Mohan Mohini. Mani, she attracts even the Madan Mohan. Therefore, Krishna is try to understand what is there in Radharani, that she attracts. I attract the whole universe and she attracts me. So, with this feeling, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Tadbhavadhyā lobhāt. These are all transcendental loving actors. Lobha. There is greediness. To understand. Tad Bhavadva Samajani, he appeared uh, in, in the womb of Mother Sachi, Samajani, Sachi Gadva Sindhu, uh, Harindu. Hari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is like the moon. So we have established this temple, uh, Mahapur Chandruda. So this, this is the idea that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is just like moon. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he appeared in this land of Mahapur. Uh, therefore, he is said here as the moon. Therefore, he said Chandra, Mahapur Chandra. Uh, now, as Sri Mahapur Chandra is Rising. Uh, rising. Rising means he is to distribute the moon sign all over the world. This is the idea. Uh, moon sign. Sriya kairava chandrika avitaranam. Sriya kairava chaitanya mahapuru personally said, uh, don't keep Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu compact in your room and take some uh, monetary profit. This is not required. 
दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड यू मस्ट अलाउ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु टू राइज मोर एंड मोर सो दैट दिस सन मून साइन मे बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑल ओवर दिस दैट इज वॉन्ट देर फॉर दिस टेम्पल इज सिचुएटेड अफकोर्स वी शेल ट्राई टू कॉन्स्ट्रैक्ट ए वेरी नाइस टेम्पल फॉर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु दिस मॉर्निंग दैट thinking of this so from this place this uh, moon sri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, will distribute sri kairava chandrika vitaranam vidyavadu jeevan uh, the sri chaitanya mahaprabhu hari krishna movement uh, uh, parang vijayati sri krishna sankirtanam This is spoken by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Chetadatpanamajanam bhav mahada bhagni nibbavanam sreya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidyavadu jivanam vidyavadu jivan. This is real enlightenment. People all over the world they are in darkness. Uh, the moon sign will enlighten them. Uh, they are all foolish, mura. Uh, that is described in uh, Bhagavad Gita. Namang dushkitanam mura prapadanti naradhama maya kuritagyana asuri bhavma. These foolish person at the present moment, it is very very much regrettable that they are passing on as very learned scholar, philosopher, politician, economist. But according to uh, Krishna's statement in the Bhagavad Gita, they are all fools and rascals. Why? Namang duskita namura. They are not surrendering to Krishna. Krishna came, appeared upon this planet and in this universe to canvas that you surrender. Huh? सर्वधर्मान पड़ित्य मेक नो देर फॉर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज ए डिवोट यू ऑफ कृष्ण इज कृष्ण नमो महावदानाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम इज कृष्ण हिमसेल कृष्ण इज सो काइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही केम एज ए सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड ही डिमांड As God saw that, you surrender. But people did not do it. Therefore, Krishna has again come in the form of devotee, uh, Krishna Chaitanya Nam. Uh, now he is ready to give you not only Krishna but love of Krishna freely. Take it and distribute it all over the world. That is one. Thank you. Very much.